Hello everyone, welcome to study time. In this video, we are going to see class 5 max chapter 2 shapes and angles. So in this video, I am going to explain the basic uh, things which you have to know about shapes and angles. And I will be discussing few uh, question answers which will be uh, useful for you to attempt uh, the exam. So this uh, chapter, first we will see what are the basic shapes. You all know that um, uh, circle, triangle, rectangle, oval, square, pentagon, hexagon, heptagon, octagon, parallelogram. These are the uh, basic shapes. First, let me tell what is the angle. In geometry, an angle can be defined as the figure formed by two rays meeting at a common end point. So, can you see the, this picture? So, an angle, this is an angle. So, an angle can be defined as the figure formed by two rays. So, here this is one ray and this is one ray. So, which is for this, this angle A, O, B, that is called as angle an angle is represented by the symbol. So, this, this is the rep, uh, rep, uh, uh, symbol for representing angle. Here, uh, we have to say AOB. So, angle AOB meaning uh, you are finding the uh, angle of O with respect to A and B. Next, angles are measured in degrees using a protractor. This is a protractor. So, using this, you will be measuring a angle. Next. We will see what are the parts of an angle. So, first we will see vertex. Point where the arms meet is called as vertex. Here O is the vertex. So, here O is the vertex. Arms. Two straight line segments form a vertex. So, from a vertex, uh, what is the two line segments? Here um, OA and OB is the arms. Angle, if a ray is rotated about its end point, the measure of its rotation is called angle between the initial and final position. So, this part is angle here. Next, we will see angles. Uh, these are the different types of angles. So, first we will see what is an acute angle. So, acute angle is one in which uh, the angle is less than 90 degree. Suppose if an angle is less than 90 degree, then we call that angle as acute angle. If an angle is equal to 90 degree, then we call that angle as right angle. If an angle is greater than 90 degree, then we call that angle as obtuse angle. If an angle is 180 degree, then we call it as straight angle. So, if an angle is greater than one, uh, 180 degree and less than 160 degree, then we call that angle as reflex angle. A complete angle is 360 degree. So, this is um, acute angle is uh, less than 90 degree. Obtuse angle is greater than 90 degree, less than 180 degree. So, this you have to uh, make sure. So, these are the different types of angles. Next, we will see some questions which is given in the textbook before we discuss few question answers. Filling the blanks. First question, a right angle measures, I already told you, right angle is 90 degree. A dash angle is less than 90 degree. A acute angle is less than 90 degree. A dash angle measures equal to two right angles. So, now right angle is 90 degree, two right angle is 90 degree and plus 90 degree that is equal to 180 degree. So, 180 degree is straight angle. A straight angle always measures 180 degree. When I stretch all my five fingers of my hand to full, my fingers make, so what your fingers will make? It will make only acute angles which is less than 90 degree. An obtuse angle is more than 90 degree. 
the number of right angles in a square is so in a square you will be having 1 2 3 4 so you will be having four right angles in a square next classify the following angles as acute obtuse right and straight angle so 125 degree is greater than 90 so it is obtuse angle it is less than 90 so it is acute angle so it is equal to 90 degree so 90 degree is right angle straight angle you all know it is a um, 180 degree and um, 2 into 90 is also 180 degree so that is also straight angle 170 degree is greater than 90 degree so it is obtuse angle uh, 85 degree is less than 90 degree so it is also acute angle next practice time look at the shape and answer the angle marked in dash color is the biggest angle so here in this picture um, yellow color is marked here so this is acute this is also acute this is also acute so this two are obtuse which is greater than 90 degrees so black color the angle marked and black color is a biggest angle so here uh, pentagon is given this is smaller one this is bigger one here octagon is given here also octagon is given the angles marked in yellow are the angles marked with yellow equal so here this is uh, marked and this is marked yes it is equal the angle marked in green is equal so this angle is the angle is equal though the uh, shape is bigger in size it is equal the angle marked in blue so this is also equal four different angles are marked in four colors can you find other angles which are the same as the marked in red mark them in red see first this angle and this angle is almost equal in this angle this angle is also equal this angle and this angle is equal next practice time look at the angles in the pictures and fill the ta uh, table first here it is acute angle so less than 90 degree next hand here it is right angle um, in the kite this angle is also a right angle here the shape is this it is more than a um, right angle because it is somewhat slanting than what is actually for right angle so it is not straight so it is somewhat slanting it is more than a right angle next here in this you have to measure this so that is also more than right angle write what kind of angle is made by the hands at these times also write the name write the time so first is 725 acute angle 815 is obtuse angle 910 is obtuse angle 925 is obtuse angle 10 o'clock is acute angle next draw the hands of the clock when they make an angle which is less than a right angle also write the time so here it is 1145 116 and 750 uh, in this time they make an angle less than right angle so you can also uh, write a uh, different timing also which makes less than right angle which is acute angle next sample questions that you will be uh, uh, getting an exam point of view i'm going to explain what measure should be added to the following to make them a right angle you all know right angle is 90 degree so they have given 34 degree so subtract 90 degree uh, subtract uh, 34 degree from 90 degree so you will be getting 56 so this 56 should be added with 34 to get right angle so this is how you have to follow for other questions same way for second question 
90 degree minus 60 de 16 degree. So, we will be getting 74. So, 74 should be added uh, with the 16 to make 90 degree. For 19, it is 71. For 28, it is 62. For 90 degree, you do not have to add anything. So, it is 0 degree. Next, measure the angles. So, this is 90 degree. You can say without any protractor. This is 180 degree. Other things you have to measure with protractor. This would be approximately, I am telling, but you have to um, use protractor. So, this would be 130 degree. So, this is 130 degree. So, this would be 45 degree. Okay. Next, Raghu draws an angle measuring 140 degrees. He now divides this angle into two equal parts. But what is the measure of each of these smaller angles? So, 140 divided by 2 will be getting 70. So, the uh, answer is 70 degree is the answer. Make sure you uh, mark the degree. Next, Seema draws a right angle. She divides this into three equal parts. What is the measure of each part? What kind of angle is this? So, this is a right angle. If you divide a right angle divided by right angle is 90 degree, 90 degree divided by 3 is 30 degree. So, she makes three ang uh, 30 degree of um, 30 degree uh, by splitting uh, 90 degree into three equal parts. So, each one measures 30 degree and what kind of angle it, it is? Acute angle. You have to read the question properly and write down the answer which is asked. Next, count the number of angles and write them in the space given. So, here you will be having 1, 2, 3, 4. For square you will be having 4. 1, 2, 3. So, for triangle it is 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, here it is 5. For uh, diamond, it is 4. Next, observe the figure and answer the questions. Name the common vertex. So, here a picture is given. So, you have to refer the picture and answer the question. Common vertex is O. Name the right angle. Angle D O C is right angle. Name the angle less than right angle. So, you can say COB. COB is less than right angle. Name the arms, arms of angle AOB. AOB uh, arms is OA and OB. Name the angle more than uh, right angle is angle AOB. This angle is more than right angle that is 90 degree. So, this is a very important questions uh, that we have discussed. You will be getting these uh, uh, questions in um, um, the periodical test or summative assessment. Chapter 2 shapes and angles ends here. We have discussed the basic uh, questions and uh, sample questions which you need to prepare for exam point of view. Hope this video is useful and understanding. Thanks for watching.